You may ask how I did the lighting for the ring. Good morning everybody, my name is Daniel and today I show you how to make a proper lighting setup for the sapphire ring. I recently released a new animation called Dancing Cylinders and I've got a lot of feedback which I'm thankful for. And some people ask me how I did the lighting. To be honest, it is not as difficult as people might think. You only have to follow some rules in order to achieve this. Let's go! The first rule is preparation. Make sure you have your materials and models ready to use. By the way, if you want the scene, you can just go ahead and buy it on Gumroad. Link in my description. For the renderings I use Octane Render. Go to Octane settings, keep it in the direct lighting, change the max sample to 512, crank up the specular depth to 24 and the glossy depth to 6. You can also increase the diffuse depth to something like 3, 4, 5. Next up we are going to load ACES into Octane. In case you are wondering what ACES is, ACES is a color space that can display a wide range of colors. Here's an example with ACES and one with sRGB. There's nothing more to say, let's dive back. Go to settings, then to color management. Activate use other config file and select config ICO from OpenColor.io. You can download it from GitHub, link in the description. After that, go to camera imager and then ICO. Change the ICO view to ACES sRGB. For the last step, you have to open your Octane Live Viewer. Change this from HDR sRGB to OCO sRGB. Now we can start with the lighting process. Next step, let's create an aerial light and change the shape to a circle. Now go to your Octane Light tag, add a gradient to your texture and set it the way you like it. When you are done, you can start lighting your scene. For the overall exposure, use large sized light sources. For the details, especially for the beautiful reflections inside the gem, I recommend to use only one small size light source, but also make sure that the size isn't too tiny. This causes more noise and the worst case also fireflies. If you're done with that, you can add more variations to your light. You can work with cold warm contrast and adjust the gradient of each area light. The last step is exporting. Before we export the render, we need to change a few settings. Let's go to render settings. In output, you can set the resolution on your choice. If you did that, go to Octane Renderer and change the color space to Aces CG. Now navigate to Render AOV Group. Enable it. Choose a path where you want to save the file. After that, change the format to XR Octane. Select 32 bit per channel and for the compression, I like to use DWAB. Enable save beauty and if needed, you can also enable denoised beauty. Congrats! Now you can render and export the image. For the last part, open After Effects and import your XR file. Before we start, go to this button. Now navigate to color and change the depth to 32 bits per channel. In working space, you can keep that in sRGB. Just make sure linearized working space is disabled. Click OK. Now we can start with a comp. Drag and drop the file into this window in order to create a composition. Now search for Extractor, drop it into your XR file. Select your pass, in that case I use Beauty. After that, let's create an adjustment layer. I rename it to Aces CG to sRGB. Let's add OpenColor.io and then select Aces 1.2.
After that, you have to change the input space to ACES, ACES CG, and the output space to output sRGB. And we are done. If your render looks similar to your viewport in Octane, you have done everything right. If you want, you can start editing and add filters and effects such as curves, LUT, and more. Thanks for watching, and I would appreciate it very much if you leave a comment or feedback. If you are up for more tutorials, let me know. Ciao mit V!